everybody, it is Jamie from Jamie Riddler Studios and today I'm going to share with you what's on my Creative Living Bookshelf. So I love books and I know you do too and I always have so many piled up on my night table and here are some of the ones that I am reading right now. So first, The Creative Compass. Writing Your Way from Inspiration to Publication by Dan Millman and Sierra Prasada. Now, I was lucky enough to have this father-daughter team speak with me on the Creative Living with Jamie podcast, and they are such a delight. They share in this book their journey as writers, but also tips and strategies and structures for you to bring your stories to life through your writing. One of the things I love is that there's all sorts of things in this book that apply to all of the arts, including how they have defined and drawn out the creative process into stages, identifying them as dreaming, drafting, developing, refining, and then sharing. I think this structure is very useful for all of us creatives to think about, but this book is really designed specifically for writers. So, so if that's you, this may be a book you want to check out. And speaking of guests on my show, I also had the pleasure of interviewing Michelle Ward and Jessica Swift about their book, The Declaration of You, How to Find It, Own It, and Shout It from the Rooftops. This book is a really engaging read. It's designed for you to get in there and do something with it, not just read it. So, you know, I just opened it up to a random page and there's a page to start writing out what your self-care practice would be, or creating your positivity list. What are your proudest accomplishments, things that make you happy, things that make you want to celebrate. And all of these exercises are in the service of you really understanding and celebrating and getting ready to share the uniqueness of you. This book not only gives you something great to work through for you, but also connects you to a lot of great resources and inspiring people out there. So check that out too. One of the books I'm reading that I find myself referring to a lot and recommending to my clients a lot is Why Smart People Hurt, A Guide for the Bright, the Sensitive, and the Creative. And it's written by Eric Mysel. And I think I end up referring to it a lot is because this is my community. This You probably recognize yourself in that description too, right? The Bright, the Sensitive, and the Creative. And I love that one of the things Eric talks about right at the beginning is how it seems inappropriate to call ourselves smart. Like how it's hard to say, oh, you know, we read that, why smart people hurt, and you're like, oh, I know that's me, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say that that's me. And then ultimately what really drew me to the book is Eric's identifying that smart, creative, sensitive people, they have a tendency to really look for and need a sense of meaning. And he offers up a great strategy for that too, which is that we can also create meaning. And as creatives, you gotta love that. So I'm really, I've just started this book, but I'm really fascinated by the concept of it. And speaking of books that I've just started, this one I haven't even started. It's called Making Ideas Happen, uh, Overcoming the Obstacles Between Vision and Reality by Scott Belsky. Scott spoke at the World Domination Summit a couple years ago when I was there. And you know, I mean, Making Ideas Happen, for me, my very favorite kind of magic is where once there was nothing, now there is something. And I think that's what creativity is, right? It's taking something and making it happen. And I love exploring this. It's what I do with my small group coaching program. It's help people bring a project to life. And I'm cooking up something for next fall where I can really support more people in bringing their projects to life and in so doing, bring themselves to life. So I'm just immersing myself in this idea of um, creating projects, and I'm hoping this book will inspire me on that journey. A book that did really inspire me, and I only have like this printed page to represent it because I was so lucky to get an advanced copy from Kimberly Wilson, Tranquilology, a DIY guide to everyday tranquility. And one of the things I just love about Kimberly in general and about this book in specific is you feel like... Um, you know, there's the coolest girl who lives next door or the coolest girl at your school. And then in this book, she reveals what her secrets are, like everything you wanted to know about how does Kimberly actually do that? She shares it, which makes her like quadruply cool in my books. And in this, what she's sharing is how to bring tranquility 
into your everyday. And she shares ways to do that on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, on a seasonal basis. She has a real gift for tying these inspirational ideas to really practically bringing them to life. One of the things I also totally love about Kimberly is, do you know, like, she is crazy prolific. So she has her yoga studios, she has a clothing line, she blogs, she does podcasting, she does retreats, she's written several books, she's done her, just did her master's degree. I mean, so whenever I hear people say, oh, that's too much, oh, you can't do that, I go, well, Kimberly does it. So I'm just going to follow her example. <laughs> And lastly, what I'm going to share with you is not a book, but a magazine. And you may be familiar, I hope you are, with the beautiful publications by Stampington & Company's Somerset Studio. So this one that I'm reading is Where Women Create Business. This is a new magazine. This is only the second edition. And I am so addicted to their magazines, especially, of course, Artful Blogging, and also Where Women Create. And this takes the where women create in a very specific direction, which is where they create business. And it talks about things like running art retreats, creating cash budgets, all sorts of really exciting, inspiring, and practical things for bringing your creative business to life, all the while maintaining the absolutely sort of stunning visual pres presence that we've come to know and expect from this series of publications. So I'm thoroughly enjoying that. It was, it's not that available um, here in Canada, so, and it was a little pricey for me to order it, but I am going to devour it, <laughs> as I hope to do with all of these books. I hope there was something that felt really tasty to you. I'm going to try and do this feature way more often because there's always so much exciting to read. And if you have a great recommendation, if you know a book you'd love to see on my Creative Living Bookshelf, share. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing about the way we can share these days is we can really enrich each other's lives through sharing what we know and what we love. So this is what I am loving and enjoying right now and I look forward to hearing what you are. Thank you so much for joining me on the Creative Living Bookshelf here at Jamie Riddler Studios.